Welcome to my review for Sim Racing Hardware's USB tachometer. Sim Racing Hardware, or SRH, are a UK based company which design and manufacture high end simulation equipment. They also offer a full bespoke design and manufacture service. If you're into sim racing and own a sim rig, you really need to check out their website. They've got some amazing products, and I'll leave a link in the description. I'm personally very impressed by the quality of their products and I've actually ordered three different items from their range. In good time we'll have a closer look at all three but the purpose of this video is to have a good look at the 11,000 RPM rev burner USB tachometer. And here it is in a well packed box. Now SRH aimed to do a seven day turnaround and they certainly did this fine with me and look this one arrived the next day by Royal Mail Special Delivery, which I think is possibly the best service you can actually get from a courier. So let's get this open and look at the goodies inside. As you can see, the box is very well packed and everything arrived in perfect shape. So first at the top you've got a standard USB to mini lead, quite a nice long length this one, and that comes with the rev burner. Then we have a standard uh, UK power adapter, 12 volt. Once again, that's got quite a nice long lead on it as well. Next out of the box is the gear change indicator. This one I will be doing a review later on. I won't be doing it in this video, but it's, uh, it complements the actual rev burner quite nicely. So there we go, that's that. It's looking quite nice. Very well packed again. And then finally, in the bottom of the box, is the actual tachometer itself. Now it's a nice size unit. It's 5 inches or 125mm diameter. The taco itself is just what you'd find in a car and it's made by Type R. But you can see that SRH have made a fantastic job on the carbon effect perspex stand. They've also modified it for more responsiveness. At the back here you can see the SIM projects board. With, this is where your USB connection will go. The taco itself is very solid and it's made of aluminium. I'm very impressed with it. It looks really nice. It's really going to go well on the rig. You have a few individual controls on the tachometer just to set the red line etc and to change the actual seven color lights. And also sim racing hardware just put their own little switch there which turns the power on and off. Another thing I like is the really large red change up light. And that really is going to be quite useful when you're really pushing into a corner three abreast. And the gear shift indicator looks just as nice and I do look forward to doing a review on this later on. So straight out of the box I'm very very impressed by the actual manufacturing quality. This really is this high-end professional kit. So this SRH USB tachometer retails at 130 UK pounds. Now at first that might appear quite expensive but when you start breaking down each individual component the costs become better value. For example this SIM project's rev burner board well this actually retails at 30 pounds on its own. A 5 inch tachometer and change light, well on eBay you could be talking anything from 70 to 100 pounds. So in a way, you get the stand for free. Okay, we've connected a taco up to a 12 volt supply. Let's have a look at those actual colour changing options. The actual tachometer has seven individual colours. Personally, I quite like the green, but there's one that would suit any rig. Now below the colour changing light are the individual controls to actually set at which point you want the change up light to come on. To do this you just simply press the mode button and then you've got a basic up and down arrow which is where you actually set the red line to. It's quite easy really. And then once you've got it set you just press the mode button again and then you can forget about it. And that's it job done. Okay it's now time to actually get this up on the rig and configure the software. I do apologize for the screenshot footage. I do know that I really should get some screen grabber software. I'm really sorry about that. 
So your first job is to go to the Sim Projects website. I'll leave a link in the description and download the free and very useful Sim Dash software. This is a powerful piece of controlling software. It allows you to actually control all of your USB connected devices. It's well worth going to the Sim Projects website itself and checking it out because they sell a whole range of USB controller boards which means you can actually build your own virtual dashboard. They've certainly got a lot of equipment on the actual website and all you really need to do is have the skills and the materials to kind of build your own mounts and supports. OK, we've now plugged in and connected the actual rev burner tachometer and straight away it's actually come up that it's been detected. Now SRH provide a calibration file in XML format which is perfectly compatible with SimDash. But if you want to, you can actually go on and manually adjust the actual calibration of the tachometer. It's quite simple to do if you want to make that very finite adjustment. Now also, SimDash is quite cleverly automatically configured for some existing racing games. Uh, to be honest, these tend to be sort of slightly older games that you actually would buy in disc format. Unfortunately, Assetto Corsa, as it's always in development, they haven't actually made a configuration file yet. But as you can see, certainly with some of the older games like Colin McRae, Dirt 2, um, Grid, Grid 2, these are already done for you. So you would just need to click on this con configuration file and everything would actually be configured for your game. And that's a great saving of time. OK, I've now installed the calibration file and I've booted up a Seto Corsa. Now if you look at the tachometer actually in game, you compare that to the actual real tachometer you can see that they're pretty much perfectly synchronized it's actually very clever software so as I've just mentioned if you want absolute perfection you can go into the actual calibration settings and actually tweak them yourself but to me this is you know this is pretty good enough I'm actually very pleased how well synchronized this actually is in game now one thing I will mention is I had a slight problem with the USB lead I think it was actually my computer but I emailed Sim Racing Hardware on a bank holiday Monday and actually got an email response back the very same day from Bill who sorted my problem out instantly. And that is a very, very good service to get a reply on a bank holiday Monday, same day. That's a fantastic service. So as you can probably tell, I'm actually very, very pleased with this device. It just adds that extra bit of realism to your driving and it looks really nice as well and that big red change up light well that just catches the corner of your eye now when you're really pushing it into a corner and you want to get the most out of every gear but you just don't want to blow the engine it's really really useful so that's really about it I just need to actually bolt this onto the actual rig as I showed you at the beginning of the video I do have the matching SRH gear shift indicator and I'll be doing a review for that in due course. In fact, I was so impressed with Sim Racing hardware products that I've actually gone back on the website today and I've also ordered the matching carbon look speed indicator. So when that arrives, I'll get a video up as well. So what I'll do now is I'll just leave you with a couple of minutes of actual Assetto Corsa in-game footage so you can see the taco and the gear change indicator working. <laughs> if you find this video is useful to you, well, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. But as always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Cheers. And yep, I did know I did actually blow the engine there. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye.